Week 9 NFL Picks, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to give you my picks for every game in this NFL season. It is Week 9. As you can see up here, I'm 79-44. and 44. Um, I think that's valid, bro. I've had some weeks where I've been hitting. Um, as I go through these, if you guys don't know who to bet on, you know, I'll give you a couple a couple gimmies, but you know, nothing's guaranteed when it comes to betting. But I will give you my picks for each of these 15 games coming up, starting with tonight's game. Uh, the Houston Texans against the New York Jets. Now, I was really confused on who to pick on this, bro, because the books is telling me that the Jets are favored at home, which doesn't make any sense to me, bro, because, like, yeah, the Texans lost digs. Yeah, Nico Collins is on IR, but the Texans are a much better football team than what we've seen from the Jets. And I'm going to be honest, bro. If you're betting tonight, I'm taking the Houston Texans to get this dub over the Jets. Why? They just look more consistent, bro. They look like the better team. Um, the Jets haven't shown me anything. They lost to the Patriots last week. Aaron Rodgers is a Thursday night football demon. Um, so maybe he comes out and goes absolutely buck wild, but I don't know. Next game, Dallas Cowboys, Atlanta Falcons. If Micah Parsons was playing, Deron Bland's playing, Trayvon Diggs is questionable, Brandon Cooks, like if the Cowboys were at full, you know, strength, I would be leaning to pick the Cowboys this week. Um, because Kirk is every other game he plays good and bad. And this is one of the every other games that he's supposed to play bad in. Um, but I don't know. They look good. I feel like if they give Bijan the ball enough, they're going to run all over them. So we're going to go ahead and take the Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta Falcons. I think they win this game by about like six points. Um, shouldn't be too hard to get Dallas out the way. But we'll see, bro. They're at home. Um, it's going to be a it's gonna be a hyped up game, bro. Dallas is coming to Atlanta. We're going to see. Next up, we got the Miami Dolphins heading to Buffalo to play the Buffalo Bills. They don't play well in Buffalo at all. Um, it's October, Halloween. By that time they play, it's going to be November. It's probably going to be a little chilly, maybe like 50 degrees, 40 degrees. And we know how them boys from Miami act when it gets a little cold. They get stiff paws and they stop hooping. They just ain't got it no more. I think an easy pick right here is the Bills. And I would say the Bills is one of the locks of the week if you want to go ahead and throw some money on that for sure. But if you are, you know, and you like player props and stuff, feel free to go use a code WABO, W-A-B-O, on Price Picks and Underdog when you sign up and you get your first deposit match up to 100%. I've never done an ad in a video, but hey, why not try it today? You know, feel, feel me? It's the first time I'm doing a picks video, so she, if I do it... <laughs> Um, next we got the Raiders at the Bengals. Bengals just took a tough L to the Eagles. Go birds, baby. Fly, Eagles, fly. Yes, sir. You already know the vibes. Uh, but the Raiders, they ain't got it this year, bro. They do not have it whatsoever, brother. I'm taking the Bengals. I think this is a, I don't know. They should beat them by like two tubs at least, I think. I don't see the Raiders putting up much of a fight unless Brock Bowers just goes crazy and turns into... Freaking Tony Gonzalez or Gronkowski all game and just can't be stopped. But even then, I mean, I feel like the Bengals have too much firepower. T. Higgins should be back. Jamar Chase is going to be playing. Uh, just get them the ball for real. I think Chase Brown's going to have a big game running the ball if you guys be gambling. Uh, so, yeah, go ahead and do that. This game, I'm not sure about, if I'm going to be honest. Chargers at the Browns. Chargers look decent. Like, Justin Herbert looks like one of the quarterbacks that everybody's been glazing Justin Herbert to be. So, he's looking like, you know. A baller, but, but, famous Jameis, Jameis Winston going to eat a W, uh, just beat the team that I thought was the best team in the NFL, and that's the Ravens, so, if I'm going to be honest, bro, I'm stuck, but I have to pick, and I'm going Chargers, bro, I'm going Chargers with the win on the road to be 5-3, and three, looking real good for a potential playoff spot, because I believe in Justin Herbert over Jameis Winston, and I even like the Chargers defense over the Browns defense this year. Unless Miles Garrett becomes a game wrecker and just takes over the game and their O-line can't do nothing about it. But we'll see. Titans at home against the Patriots. I know you guys have seen the lore behind the Detroit Lions and how they beat up every team that they play. And they played the Titans last week. No team has won a game after playing the Lions the week before. Um, so I feel like, you know, what history and statistics and all that type of stuff is telling me, is that the Patriots are going to go into Tennessee and get the dub. I don't know if Mason Rudolph is starting. I don't know if Will Levis is playing. Also, New England, I don't know if Drake May is playing or Jacoby Brissett. Um, I would bet the under in this game. 
And I would also take the Patriots to win this game because, like I said, whoever plays the Lions the week before always struggles in that matchup. Next up, we got the Washington Commanders at the Giants. They got lucky last week on a Hail Mary. Um, Bears fans, bro, I'm sorry. That was a tough one. That was a real tough game to watch. Um, but tragic. It is what it is. Y'all got to deal with it. Uh, I think it's a pretty easy one, the Commanders. The first game that these two played, it was straight field goals the whole game. I don't remember anybody scoring a touchdown. Two games at MetLife this week. Um, unfortunately, somebody's going to get injured. I hope it's none of the players I have in fantasy. I really hope it's no players. But it's probably going to happen. And it's unfortunate because MetLife is uh, has the turf monster for show. But yeah, it is what it is. Saints against the Panthers. Holy garbage game, bro. Like, holy garbage game. The Saints are on a six-game losing streak. The Panthers probably on a four or five-game losing streak. I don't know when they won their first game. One and seven versus two and six. Poverty franchises head-to-head -head in a divisional matchup. Who's worse is what they're going to be fighting for. Um, but it's like, how can I pick the Panthers, bro? I just got rid of Deontay Johnson. Thielen's probably not playing. Bryce Young hasn't looked like a real quarterback since he left Alabama. So I got to go Saints. I don't know if they're starting Rattler. I don't know if Derek Carr is going to be back. Not sure, but Chris Olave's got a concussion every week, so I really don't know what's going on there either. And we're going to see, though. We're going to see. Broncos at Ravens, 5-3 and three against 5-3. and three. Um, It's probably a sneaky game. I feel like if the spread is, like, one touchdown, I think the Broncos could keep it within a touchdown. Um, but the Ravens coming off an L. I don't think they lose back-to-back -back games like they did to start the season. There's just too much on the line right now to go 5-4 and four instead of 6-3. and three, That's a big change throughout the season, and this is a must-win for the Ravens, in my humble opinion. So I'm going to take the Ravens, bro, to, to get this dub. I'm damn near picking the team that's favorite every time. Right here, we got the Bears at the Cardinals. Bears took a big loss last week to Jaden Daniels and the Washington Commanders, like I mentioned before. And the Cardinals are looking like a team that can win some games if uh, Kyler Murray can get the ball to people like Marvin Harrison, Trey McBride, and James Conner just running over people. But I think it's a redemption game, and I think the Bears come out on top on this one, on the road, in Arizona, some nice weather. Um... Yeah, I think it's going to be a good battle of quarterbacks. What is it, Lincoln Riley quarterbacks? Uh, Caleb Williams against Kyler Murray. Some Oklahoma fellas slash USC for uh, the other fella. But yeah, you know, we'll see what happens in that game. This is another very close game like the Chargers and the Browns. Um, the matchup that was supposed to be Sunday Night Football is Jacksonville at the Philadelphia Eagles. Doug Peterson returned to Philadelphia. Real legend right there. Deserves a statue next to Nick Foles. Philly, Philly. You know the vibes. But this is easy, bro. Eagles should win this by two touchdowns. They got back-to-back -back blowout wins. Um, they should be 6-2 and two by the end of the week. And this is the game of the week right here, folks. The game of the week right here. Lions at the Packers. I'm really not sure on who to pick for this one. Jordan loves playing, apparently. They said Jordan loves back. Um, that run game is crazy. The Packers at home, I don't know, bro. I think it's going to be a high-scoring game. It's going to be back and forth a lot. It's going to be close, and I just think whoever has the ball last is going to win this game. And if I had to let you know who I trust more to win this game, I trust the Lions more to win this game just because, you know, they've been doing it all season. They got one L. Packers have a couple Ls. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't have too much to say about this game, but it's definitely going to be close, and I'm excited to watch it for show. Rams, Seahawks, um, you know, I don't know. I feel like I got to go with the Rams. Like, the Seahawks haven't shown me a whole lot this season. The Rams looked good last week against a very good Minnesota team. Uh, they got Puka back. They got Cooper Cup back. And Stafford's throwing the ball better than a lot of them. Kyron Williams is going to score a touchdown again. So I'm going to take the Rams on the road in Seattle. The 12th man is not going to be enough today. Um, Rams fans don't travel very well. So it will definitely be a home game for Seattle. But I think the Rams come out on top and, like, take the lead or tie the division lead, for real. Um, they might be in first in the division by the end of the week if the Seahawks and the, which I'm call it, lose because the Niners have a bye, I believe. Um, Colts, Vikings, second last game. Sunday night football. I don't know why they flex this game. doesn't make any sense to me. But we got Colts at Vikings. Joe Flacco starting. I just don't think they can beat the Vikes, bro. I don't think they can beat the Vikes on the road in... Skull, you know, the little thing they be doing. Um, but yeah, I don't think they could win that game at all. Right here, I hope y'all stayed long enough 
to see me make this pick right here. I hope y'all stayed long enough because I'm going to Tampa Bay Buccaneers on the road to beat the 7-0 Chiefs on Monday Night Football. Why? I don't know why. But making all these picks, I didn't have one single upset, I don't think. So I got to take an upset, and it's just going to have to be the last game. I think it's a high-scoring game, though. Actually, no, I don't. It's going to be like, let's go 51 points combined for this game. I think that's valid. So, yeah, we got the Bucks. I'm going to go through it again for y'all. Bucks, Vikings, Rams, Lions, Eagles, Bears, Ravens, Saints, Commanders, Patriots, Chargers, Bengals, Bills, Falcons, Texans. Yeah. Well, wow, we went all the way back down. But, yeah, as you can see, if you know, you feel me, I'm 79 and 44. So, I might at least get half of these right. So, if you want to mix and match, feel free. But, yeah, that's the video. Um, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. And we're going to be back next week with Week 10 Picks, baby.